Hello everyone. My name is Shifali Singh. I'm currently a postdoctoral researcher at ESL Grenoble. I did my PhD from CA Kadarash on the subject study of corium sodium interactions in case of severe accident scenarios in sodium cool fast reactors. Now imagine a scenario in which you are a nuclear reactor operator and your reactor core exploded. You make a call for help and the person on the other side of, of the phone says, did you try turning it off and on again? Imagine in reality, if you get this mind blowing answer, what would you do? Well, we all would wish that such a scenario would never happen, not even in our dreams. And if it does happen, then we should know how to limit the consequences. Enhancing the safety of nuclear reactors is one of the principal goals of Gen 4 Advanced Nuclear Systems. My PhD research dealt with improving the safety of one such Gen 4 reactor type, that is the sodium cool fast reactors. In particular, the aim was to study corium sodium interaction in case of a severe accident scenario. Now, let's first see on what happens in case of a severe accident scenario. The nuclear fuel that is at a very high temperature may melt down and interact with the surrounding coolant. This molten fuel is called corium and its interaction with the coolant may release a huge amount of energy that may jeopardize the reactor integrity. Understanding these types of interactions are very important for any reactor type. Till date, we have sufficient knowledge about severe accident in light water reactors, both from the simulation side as well as the experimental side. However, in the case of severe accidents in sodium fast reactors, we do not have much knowledge. Thus, the aim of this thesis was to develop an experimental means to study such an interaction. Now, with sodium comes its inherent challenges, to name a few. It can be explosive at room temperature, it's high melting point, and moreover, it is opaque. Now, sodium being op opaque poses another level of challenge in visualizing this interaction. To find answers to these, let me pose a question to you. Suppose you have a broken bone, you are in pain, and you go to a doctor for help. The doctor won't tear your body apart to see the broken bone in order to fix it. A simple process that a doctor will do is to take an extra radiography and suggest you the proper solution. We do the same. We make use of these X-rays to improve the safety of nuclear reactors. In my PhD, I used X-ray radiography to study corium sodium interaction. I designed some phantoms using representative material that mimicked corium sodium interaction. I then carried out some experiments using high energy X-rays with the, these phantoms to visualize this interaction. And voila, that's it. Well, not actually. The bigger challenge was on how to analyze the obtained images. And hence, a part of my PhD involved the development of an image processing software that can provide better information on the experimentally obtained images. So with this radiography system, and my image processing software, we were able to visualize and analyze the interaction. So in all, this was my contribution to understand the phenomenology of the interaction to make the reactors robust and safe. Thank you.